नमस्कार एवरीवन दिस इज द फोर्थ वीडियो फॉर द चैप्टर बॉडी एंड इट्स मूवमेंट इन आर प्रीवियस सेशंस वी हैव लर्नड अबाउट द नंबर ऑफ बोन्स द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ जॉइंट्स देन वी स्टडीड हाउ द मसल्स हेल्प इन आर मूवमेंट टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग हाउ द मूवमेंट अकर्स इन एनिमल्स अदर देन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स सो टू स्टार्ट विद फर्स्ट वी विल डिस्कस द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ स्केलेटन देयर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ स्केलेटन नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज अ स्केलेटन Skeleton is a framework which provides support to the organ organism. First is exoskeleton. It is the skeleton which is present outside the animal. These animals they have shells. They don't have bones. Endoskeleton is the hard structure present inside the animals. And last is hydrostatic skeleton. Such skeleton consists of a liquid which is fluid, a liquid or a fluid which is present inside the body of the animal like earthworm so for exoskeleton we can have examples like cockroach crab snails for endoskeleton it could be cow buffalo human beings birds etc hydrostatic skeleton is found in earthworms and in jellyfish there is no skeleton so based upon the skeleton animal kingdom is divided into two main groups one is vertebrates another one is invertebrates so the animals which have a backbone they are put under the category of vertebrates here you can see the pictures fish reptiles birds amphibians mammals they come under vertebrates invertebrates the animals without any backbone such animals come under the category of invertebrates they could be having a hydrostatic skeleton or they could be having an exoskeleton or they could be without any skeleton like snail earthworm cockroach they come under the category of invertebrates so now in this we'll understand how earthworms move as you all have seen must have seen earthworm earthworms body is divided into small small number of segments each segment has a number of setae what are setae these are the small bristles present and the earthworms use them to grip to the soil when they are moving an earthworm moves by using two different sets of muscles earthworm uses the circular muscles to lengthen and push itself forward again so how do they actually move from this picture you it will be clear that whenever earthworm moves first it fixes one portion to the ground and the second portion is expanded then the back portion is again pulled forward this way the organism keeps on moving next is how does a snail moves snail is an organism which has an exoskeleton in the form of a shell what is the function of this this shell it protects the snail from the heat and the enemies it has a muscular foot which is a muscular organ coated with a layer of mucus which helps in the movement of the animal it also has tentacles and these tentacles they are the sensory organs for this animal so this foot with muscular foot is helping the animal to move here you can see how does a snail actually moves you can see the slimy mucus which it is secreting at the back when it is moving now how does the bird moves of course the bird they fly with the help of wings wings are the modified four limbs in the birds they their body is adapted for flying they have lot of adaptations like their bones are hollow so that their body becomes light in weight they have long flat feathers and these feathers they are supported by strong muscles so that to help them to flip continuously birds they also have a system of air sacs in their body that connect to the lungs now coming to fishes how do fishes swim fishes and all other most aquatic animals their body shape is streamlined what is the streamlined shape a shape that is narrow at both the ends and broad in the middle this shape enables the animals to swim faster how because it helps in reducing the resistance to the animal from the water 
so it can easily cut through the water through this streamlined shape. These animals they need to swim very fast to catch their prey or to run away from their predators. So this is the picture which is showing you that fishes they have different types of fins, tail fin, tail fin, caudal fin. So different fins they have different functions. Tail fin helps in the movement in zigzag way to push the body forward. There are other fins which help in balancing. Uh, when the fish is swimming, it needs to balance itself in water to help him to prevent from toppling around in water. So there, these are the functions of the fins. All fishes, they have fins. Each fin shape has a unique shape and function. Talking about dorsal fin, which is shown in this slide, it helps the fish to keep upright and to keep uh, sudden direction changes also the dorsal fin helps. Coming to pectoral fin, these fins they help the uh, fish to move in different directions and to steer around in the water. Sometimes they also have spines for defense. If I talk about octopus, octopus when it swims it acquires a streamlined shape otherwise it is of a different shape when it is resting. But when it swims in water, it acquires a streamlined shape. How do snakes move? Snakes, they have a very flexible backbone with lots of vertebrae. This allows them to move in a S pattern. It forms sideway loops and moves. Snakes, they have dry and scaly skin. So today we have learned about movement in other animals. That is earthworm, which is having hydrostatic skeleton. We have learned about the different types of skeleton. Then we learned about movement in snail, movement in fishes, birds and snakes. Thank you.